we know the most trending story over the last few months has been Diddy. Diddy. All over the airwaves. Did Diddy do it? <laughs> Is Diddy the new Epstein? Mm. Right? That was an article that was in the Miami Herald um, a few weeks ago. But Diddy has now spoken. Mm. Right? Here's the arrow. Is Diddy another Jeffrey Epstein? This is where we're at these days. Damn. Diddy Epstein. There's actually a picture. We could probably find oh, yeah. it. It's like mixed. Of them being morphed together. What? Find like, that right now. What's that? I'll find that it. right now. It's really just black Epstein. Diddy. That's all it is. Yeah. They just made Epstein black. black. They didn't exactly. morph their faces. But here, let's focus on this, Alejandro. Diddy posted a Got new it. video. Right? Mm -hmm. Addressing the, what's the word of the day? Allegations. Allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly Diddy did this video. Pull up the article real quick. Diddy posts a cryptic video about staying steady in the storm as legal troubles continue. So here's the story, and then we'll play the video that he did. So in this video, which is his first um, video, first response that he's done since the accusations came out April 15th, it's been less than a month. I feel like it's been so pervasive mm -hmm. that it's been a few months, but these stories have been leaking with Little Rod mm -hmm. and everything with Cassie, so probably actually has been a few months. Um, but let's get that video to, video to play. But he basically, in the video, says, not hysterical, not frantic, not anxious, not fretful. The voice states in the video. Let me know when you're ready. It's ready okay. to go? It's ready to go. Not hysterical, not frantic, not anxious, not fretful, but steady in the storm. Looks bad, looks tough, but remains steady in the storm. Boom. That's Diddy's <laughs> video drop to silence the critics. And it ended with, but steady in the storm. It looks bad. It looks tough but you remain steady in the storm. Ready, guys? I feel like he's incriminating. Here's some stories to help these allegations. By the way, do you have that story with Audrey O'Day, who was a singer for a group um, yeah. that he started called Danity Kane? We have Yes. It. Of course, Nat is like, yes. what do you remember about But Diddy's her? different, though. Diddy, there's people coming out giving, like, you know, oh, I wouldn't go to a Diddy party. You're hearing celebrities say things mm -hmm. about Diddy. Drake mm -hmm. and Kendrick, we're mm -hmm. not hearing anybody yeah. say anything or not anybody yet. come forward. Yeah. So it is kind of different situations. If you want me to be honest, I'm sorry, Diddy. I feel like you're kind of incriminating yourself with all these videos that you're mm -hmm. trying to like market with mm -hmm. you and the kid and, and these videos. Like, I feel like you come up with one video. I didn't do it. I'll be proven until innocent, guilty, whatever. Mm -hmm. And let that be the case. But it's like all this marketing. It's like, for what? What are yeah. you really doing? So pull doing? up that um, great point. Um, and what I'll say to that is Kendrick is still performing. Drake is still performing. Right. Diddy is no longer performing. Yeah. He's now not a businessman. He's a business man. He's got Ciroc, his old deal with Diageo, Bad Boy Records. He was never a rapper to begin with. He was a producer, mm -hmm. businessman, entrepreneur. When Biggie died, he took the mantle, mm -hmm. did his thing. But... Being a producer, an executive producer, a bad boy, here's what the Danity Caden singer had to say. Mm -hmm. She claims that Diddy Combs, uh, he moved to turn over publishing rights to bad boy records artists in 2023 and buying their silence. Mm. It was the article you just had. In a new doc by TMZ, The Downfall of Diddy, which just came out on Diddy. Yeah, here it is. Um, the singer, who did not sign the new deal, says she was to be given $300 Damn. for a full release of all claims against Diddy and other players. So she didn't sign it, tried to buy their silence. $300. So buying silence, look, you could just say, all right, you know, we're, there's some, some questions there, but that's not a version of guilt. By the way, back to that um, Miami Herald, Diddy is Epstein article. Um, here's what he's, the article accused him of being the Epstein. Um, Combs is accused of preying on vulnerable women and also men, mm. and trafficking them with the help of a private jet in a Caribbean island property. Sounds kind of Epstein-ish. <laughs> uh, if these allegations are true, Combs deserves to be compared to and treated like the late Epstein, Hollywood movie mogul, mogul Harvey Weinstein, and the singer R. Kelly in that type of elk. Again, 
We saw the video of Usher a few weeks ago saying, yeah. I don't know what I was doing at this party. Mm -hmm. um, we saw the video of Justin Bieber. Hey, he's 15. Mm -hmm. He's going to go to Diddy's Flavor Camp. What does that mean? We saw also the video with him, Justin Bieber, sort of patting him down. Um, is he wearing a wire? Again, allegations, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. So I'll ask you again, did you want to say something? Yeah, uh, you want the um, Epstein photo? I have it ready for you. Let's see that Epstein photo. There he is. What? That's Diddy that Epstein. Is <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Weird, weird, okay, weird, Okay, I wish weird. I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> Guys, allegedly, we want to find out if Diddy is Diddy. actually guilty. Does the, the, if the crime don't fit, if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. Shout out to Johnny Cochran, who represented, obviously, OJ. R. Allegedly R. killed his wife. No, he did it. And her wife's friend, but he, <laughs> he did allegedly it. did it. He wink, wink, that wink, bitch wink. Out. <laughs> he allegedly, he took her out. A lot of winks. <laughs> so fucked up. Caitlin, you were the only person that thought that Drake or Kendrick could have been guilty. Okay, sprinkles, sprinkles. Sprinkles. Sprinkles, sprinkles. What do you think about Diddy? <laughs> Likelihood. Guilty, innocent, what side are you leaning? Okay, first of all, whatever that report was that says Diddy should be treated like Epstein and what, no, we mm -hmm. need, the, we want the client list. Nobody should be treated like Jeffrey Epstein. We have no client list still. Mm -hmm. um, I really have to vote on this. I think Nat mentioned earlier, there are too many people in Hollywood that have actually come out. Mm -hmm. Why would you put your reputation uh, and life, I'll, I'll say, on the line? Because at this point, that's what uh, these folks do in Hollywood. They're putting their life on the line when they're admitting to possible pedophilia, pedophiles, ranks, child sex trafficking. So I'm going to go again with the same answer. I'm sure there is sprinkles yeah. of truth. Who's more yes. likely to be guilty based on the, the, the people we've spoken about? The Diddy's? Oh, Diddy. Or the Drake? And, okay, guys, Diddy. I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah. She's Natalia. Diddy. Diddy, you you know, for Drake, you said innocent yeah. to prove it guilty. Mm -hmm. Do you have the exact same feeling for Diddy? Or are you more likely leaning towards? I'm going to be fair. Yeah. Innocent until proven guilty. But. but and there's a big but. <laughs> there's more facts that Diddy may have mm -hmm. done something based on the stuff that has come out from celebrities that it's been around him. Mm -hmm. This is not like, oh, mm -hmm. I went to his concert and we hung out after. It's like we work together. Yeah. Right. So, innocent until proven guilty, but... But, but here's the thing right, about guilty. but. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I know you do. I, I know you. I can't do you were that. at a Diddy party. When a girl walks in with any video wasting around thing in your face. You get spread. I don't know when hip-hop used to be like that. <laughs> Bring Amy, it back. Bring it back. Amy, where are you at with the Diddy situation? Going back to what you said, there is so much nefarious stuff that happens in Hollywood. Like, it's not uncustomary to hear about these types of things, but I think it comes predominantly more from the people who are the businessmen, mm -hmm. the producers, the people who hire the rappers. So I think the rappers are oftentimes the people who wind up in mm. um, so situations done. that, uh, you know, nefarious situations that could be leveraged against them. Um, you know, whether that's something that they knew about or not at the time, whereas people like Diddy and the business people, the producers behind the scenes actually signing these artists are the ones who are far more likely to actually have committed these egregious crimes. So I would say for sure, innocent until proven guilty but mm -hmm. you know on the balance of probability i would say that drake is way more likely to be innocent compared yeah. to a diddy you know how like obviously on value mm -hmm. specifically in pbd podcast pbd and us we've interviewed a lot of mafia guys mm -hmm. and it's all about you know the rico case and the mm -hmm. racketeering mm -hmm. and if all right so you're this low level guy who's the guy you're gonna flip on mm -hmm. all right who's the underboss okay yeah. send me the bull respect don't kill me please right. you know john got who's the guy who's the boss mm -hmm. is diddy the boss drake's not the boss we know mm -hmm. that we know that a drake was signed i think by cash money lil wayne mm -hmm. whoever that is who's lil wayne's boss mm -hmm. at one time it was master p you know like why do i know so much about hip-hop i just do Kendrick Lamar, who's he signed with? But I don't know who's above Diddy. Mm, right. Right, he owns Bad Boy Records. It's kind of you like know? a, let's give an analogy, uh, Harvey Weinstein, where Ooh. you, had, you yeah. had so many people coming out with real stories, even just the give me a twirl, do this, behave like this, mm -hmm. I'll promise you this movie, I'll promise you this uh, show. So that's kind of similar to what we're 
starting to hear about Diddy. Yep. A lot of promises, mm -hmm. young folks hanging around him, like a Justin Bieber, as we Oof. mentioned. Mm -hmm. so, well, we're going to talk about promises in a second, especially with Weinstein mm -hmm. and with Spacey and some Hollywood stuff. But Diddy, did he do it, Diddy? Diddy is a Diddy. Let us know. Let us know, but it's not looking good for Diddy. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full Sauce cast, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.